Welcome to our Morning Throners podcast. I'm Nelson. And I'm Jeff. And we're the fucking Morning Throners. And welcome back to another episode of your favorite Song of Ice and Fire podcast. But right now it's the House of the Dragon recap podcast. Uh, We got episode four just finished. Quite the doozy of an episode. I I really liked it, but again... Like, this is one of those episodes where it's hard for me to tell how it's going to come across to people, especially people who haven't read the book, because, like, there's no there's no fighting at all, really. Right? There's, like, no fighting. It's a lot of politicking. I thought this was a good episode. Again, if you're watching the trailers at the end of – if you're watching the next episode's trailer, you're ruining it you've got to be ruining your experience because I was completely shocked. I can only – I want to go back now and watch the trailer to see, like, how, how bad it would have been. You should. It's bad. Like you literally get her with the knife, like reading the whole the entire thing yeah. off the knife, the whole like Song of Ice and Fire, the entire thing. You get him saying like, you're all my political headaches like that little yeah. clip. You get her running through the streets with a with a hat on and Damon running through the streets with a hoodie on. Like, of course, the two people running through the streets, are, yeah. they're going to be meeting up like they tried. Like, I think the trailer tried to make it be like, who are these people? But if you're like, are looking close, you can kind of tell it's yeah. Yeah. Uh... I just couldn't imagine being – I don't I don't want to see anything until 9 o'clock. That's, I think I agree. I tried to do this last week. I made it halfway through the week and then somebody a – few, a few people in the Discord, I think maybe in the Fire and Blood chat because um, <clears throat> like we have like different chats for like if you've read the books or if you haven't read the books. And some people in, in the – where like the read the books area were talking about some stuff that hasn't happened yet and like maybe – what the trailers, how the trailers related to that. So I was like, okay, I watched the trailer so I can join in on these combos. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna hold strong this time. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a benefit. Just being completely shocked. I don't even want to be thinking throughout the week because, like, I'm, I'm making predictions now. Like, and if I don't want anything, you know, strewing my ideas and my thoughts going into this week. So yeah. I want to talk about really quick before we jump into the episode. After last week's episode, I had an idea about my predictions of what's going to happen. And it's really because of Aegon's birth. Uh, and my prediction was going to be that Damon and Renera team up, and they still might. I, I still think this is a possibility. After Viserys dies, I believe those two are going to team up against Aegon. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see that. I mean, it makes sense. They seem again. Like, I did not expect the incest of this of this episode at all. Like, I didn't think they would. Uh, I thought they hinted at it, like episode one, that they liked each other, like that they had like a cool kind of like yes friendship kind of thing. I did not yeah. expect the uh, the makeout session. Did he bang her? Is it in the book? Again, it's one of those things where in the books, like we get multiple counts. We get a multiple spy. Ca- a spy came to yeah. Well, in the books, we get multiple counts. We hear that he did. We hear that he didn't. So like, Ooh. it's one of the things where like I want to get a more definite answer, but they're definitely leaving it up to like, yeah. oh, that's what did you think? Um, which I, which again, I, it's like kind of frustrating, but I kind of like it. I yeah, also I wouldn't mind it if like at the end of this, I feel like a lot of people would hate this, but because like I was really hoping to get a lot of these, like this was a huge one. Like this was like one of the biggest mysteries. And and I think that we got to do like an end of the season recap where we can talk about some of this stuff because again, there's, there's some things that are happening like at the same time, like her, like, so she has, it again, we'll go through the episode like kind of chronologically, but she, it's not just Damon. She then has like this like sexual thing with Christian Cole later. Mm-hmm. And again, like there's like, I think there's once or two, there's like a Damon, like, I don't want to say too much, but like, yeah, the, the messing with timeline stuff and putting things like mm-hmm. closer together. Cause it makes sense. Cause you can like show it all in like one scene. Right. But then like, I don't know, like, because there was two events earlier, are there going to be two events again? And like this, they just added to this one event. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So, Interesting. yeah, I'm like talking around things. So one thing I also want to say is I write before each episode, I write down like what I think is going to happen in the episode based on on the books. And let me see. I said Damon shows up. I got that one right. And Otto was removed his hand. OK, so those were the two things that I like. I And then you can't tell me the other things or that would spoil. Yeah, or else it was because it's stuff that like again, it's stuff that like kind of hasn't happened yet, or like it's the, like this is their take on the show, but mm-hmm. I don't know if there's going to be more of it. I wonder why. Uh, the, I mean, I guess they've already screwed it up enough that the timeline, just like I always say, the timeline doesn't really matter because <laughs> so, again, they're keeping things like not too bad timeline wise. The biggest thing I think that I don't hear anybody talking about is Aegon the Second. Like again, like this this story takes place like. 
the main bulk of this story takes place a decent amount of years from now where Aegon yeah. is more grown up. Right. Um, not even, didn't even see him today. I wanted to see if like he got older in this yeah. episode, like if we jumped any time or if this was like a week after Damon conquered the Stepstones. I was trying to figure out time. I think it's a, a year after the last episode. And the only time I got that is because the last episode was three years about mm-hmm. after episode two. And here, Rhaenyra tells Damon, I haven't seen you in four years. Right, right, And right. she saw Damon in episode two. So this means it was four years. Last episode was three years from episode two. Yeah, so okay. It's one year from the last episode. About that. Again, we know that Allison was pregnant in the last episode. She's not pregnant anymore. And there was a quick shot of her holding a baby. Right, and that we saw a baby girl that was probably like five months, six months old or something exactly. like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, so, another thing that's just like on my mind is like, I'm now questioning a little bit of Renera's personality, not personality. Uh, like her, is she being genuine right now? Was she lying? I'm, 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 I'm questioning her character. Is what I'm. Did she lie to Allison? Did she lie to her dad? If she fucked Damon, right? Just period. If she fucked Damon, I feel like a lot of people who they're like she has a lot of fans. I feel like everyone so far is like, yes, I love Rhaenyra. She's awesome. Uh, you're talking about like actual fans, like us, fans like of us. the show. Yeah, yeah, like us, fans of the show. I feel like if she fucked Damon, a lot of people will be like, I don't really like her anymore. Also, it's kind of a Damon. It's it's more of a Damon thing, right? Because Damon mm-hmm. like kind of a lot of people would say he groomed her, and he probably did groom her, right? Grooming like when you he got her he got her drunk and like well, I think grooming is when you know someone from a really young age, yeah. And you like build a relationship with them, and then once they're at a certain age, you trap you take them. advantage of that relationship yeah. that you've built from. Like, well, that's what they're. That's what Demi Lovato is <clears throat> accusing uh, Wilmer. Do you remember uh, Fez from that '70s show? Yeah, uh, I forget. It's Wilmer something. They're saying he he was like twenty nine when she was seventeen. I think she she claims that she was groomed by him. Gotcha. Yeah. I, again, I think yeah. So I think that's kind of the more gross. That I think that's more what people have a problem with about this than mm. than the incest. Not that the in, the incest doesn't help. That's it's equally sure. as weird. And the thing is, they made it they made it ambiguous. So I bet you she probably has a lot of people who kind of like you're saying are like I don't, I'm not so sure I'm about yeah. here anymore. <laughs> like did yeah. She, uh, and I was I was super <laughs> high on like Rhaenyra is the queen that was promised like she's she's the goat uh, yeah she's a great character like just like she's uh, but you know cool like two sides to a coin like there's a little bit more depth to her character now she's not just like kind of the what the white queen you know I just clean perfectly clean and yeah great characters uh, I like that she's getting a little bit dirty um, and that's kind of what we said in the beginning that every character has like a good and a bad like there's no Black and white, it's gray. Uh, yeah, and that's same, pretty cool. yeah, exactly. Uh, I I just didn't expect her to be her to be as gray as maybe she's getting. So it was I'm a quick kind of turn. It was a quick turn from like really awesome, everyone yeah. loves you to whoa, like what or like how are you so on board with this? Like Damon just brought you here and you're like all for it. Like a little bit of hesitation, but yeah, we'll get we'll we'll go through it chronologically quick. And we'll get to there. I wasn't ready for that. All right, so she's it starts with I don't know where they are. Did you catch where they were? I think it's Storm's End. Again, the only thing, the only indication is I think there's like a stag carving in the stone. Okay. And the thing that I noticed is you can hear a storm outside. Like you can hear thunder mm. and stuff outside. So I I, th- I got like a cool Storm's End vibe from that. Uh, I'd um, have to listen again to hear. I didn't hear any storming, but. They also, also Blackwood's there, which is a Riverlands house. But right. the, the first guy, Dondarrion, is a, is from the uh, Dornish Marches, which is a Stormwood's house. So makes sense. You'd go to the how, the black, and then where's Bla- where's Blackwood? They pretty Riverlands, sure that's in so. the Riverlands, right? Because Blackwood yeah. and Bracken, we know about these guys. They have the feud. We've heard about again. You hear about the if you read the books, you know about this feud. It comes up multiple times in the books. It comes up, I think, in every Duncan Egg book, at least the the first and last. So this would maybe be the first feud, or it's always been there. This might be where it came again. Like, yeah, I thought it came from something that happens in the Duncan Egg book, but in before that, I, on a on a reread of the Duncan Egg book, I realized yeah. that before that event happens between the two of them, Dunk mentions like all oh, these two hate each other already. Yeah. So again, an this event could be the genesis already, of this. Could be it, or like this this guy was clearly like the little kid who was talking is the Blackwood with the two ravens, the little yeah. kid who like Rhaenyra see, kind of seems to like. Dude, he was um, a goat. That was that was awesome. I wish I just. I mean, it's cool that he won the fight. <laughs> he yeah. probably wouldn't have looked realistic if he 
yeah kind of minor if they shared it but minor spoiler not it won't be anywhere near this show but like for the histories both uh blood raven and egg on the fifth his moms are blackwoods mm, interesting so kind of i think that's kind of why rhaenyra has like an affinity because we know like later on like so those those people are like at least 100 years from now in the they're histories. gonna end up joining <laughs> the family at some point but yeah we know that they targaryens and blackwood seem to get along a little bit uh very cool uh so i mean it's funny that old man Dondarian threw out his name uh the blackwood kid killing the, the bracken was pretty cool yeah the other thing is uh yeah, so she she was gonna go to Bitterbridge again, just another name drop of another place we know from, uh, from Westeros. But the other thing with Dondarrion, we just visited there in our book recap too. We were just exactly. talking about Bitterbridge. Yeah, so anyone who doesn't know who listens to these show recaps, the main thing we do is a chapter by chapter book <laughs> recap, and we just finished a little plug. Just, just a finished, quick we're plug. We're about to finish Classic Things, so uh, go check that out. But yeah, so the one thing is done. Uh, the other cool thing about Dondarrion is I'm pretty sure. So, Don, I think the seat of Don. Don, House on Darien is Blackhaven. And when C- Sir Christian Cole is introduced, he says, I'm the son of the steward to the Lord of Blackhaven. So I think he's basically the son of the steward of Dondarrion. So basically, say uh, he's like Roderick's son. Mm-hmm. Sir Roderick from what? Like Roderick is right, the steward right. of Winterfell. He would be like that guy's son for the Dondarrion. So Christian Cole might, I, I, I might, that might not be right either. It might be a different house, but I'm pretty sure that's probably Christian Cole probably has some background there. And he's standing right next to Rhaenyra in that scene as well. Right. Right. So they head home and yep. Damon for only shot of the dragon we get. Yeah. Do you think he did it on purpose? Do you think it was like a, a tip of the wing? Like, Hey, fuck off Rhaenyra. Like for sure. Like flying by on his motorcycle, like buzzing yeah. by the limo. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Uh, <laughs> not cool that it probably gave her a concussion, but uh, it just shows you how powerful that that dragon is too. I, yeah, I think some of this, like what, like the whole like shots of Rhaenyra while like during that scene, and then like when they're in the throne room, it's all like kind of setting up the Damon. Thing she's later like, on. yeah, she's uh, giving him side eye. Yeah. So yeah, I think the next one is a throne room. He comes in with his with his crown, fresh Again, haircut. In the books, this is different. Like he does this in the middle of a tournament. Like a tournament's going mm. on. And he circles with his dragon and people are like, oh, fuck, is he about to fuck everybody is up? Is he about or... to blow us up? Yeah. Uh, again, there's tension here. Like, nobody, like we don't know what he's going to do. Yeah. But I think the tournament would have been cooler. But I, I get it. We just had a tournament like three episodes ago. So. Yeah, you can't spend too much prop money on tournaments. Yeah. What do you think about that scene? Pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, his haircut. He came in with the axe. I don't remember. I guess. Oh, that was the hammer, right? That was like the hammer axe that the. That he was nailing people in. With, yeah. Yeah, the crap um, was. So, I think the biggest thing I saw was that like Viserys missed him. It was like a cool reunion. The other, I, the other badass part is I think when he, he he first comes in, he throws the like not throws, but like underhand tosses the yeah. hammer towards Viserys. He says, "Add it to the chair." Yeah. Which I, again, I don't know if this is a callback or not. It made me think of when Barristan basically gets dismissed from the and team. He throws, he's and he throws his. Yeah, boy, melt it down and add it to the others. I don't even yeah. know if that's from the book, but it's a badass line from the from the show yeah I, I remember that scene i think i saw it on like twitter the other day barrison yeah. barrison is good uh <laughs> no but and i the scene following when they're like in the courtyard like drinking wine and they're like it's almost like a class reunion like yeah i remember back like i can just see yeah. them like start telling like remember when stories in my notes i called this the garden party like the episode of the office yeah <laughs> it's just a party in the garden is what it is <laughs> but yeah Dave, uh Viserys is drunk again like they don't I feel like if you're not really paying this is where like Game of Thrones expects you to be paying attention Viserys is pissed at Rhaenyra right and at the end of the last episode like they had just made amends so right. like if you're not paying attention like why the fuck is Viserys pissed at Rhaenyra but Christian Cole kind of mentioned it as they were leaving Storm's End he's like your father's not going to be happy that you're leaving Bitterbridge and- yeah that you're not going to Bitterbridge you're ending this whole like seeing all these people two months early so they never show the series yelling at Rhaenyra. They just expect you to pick up on it and be like, okay, you better understand. This is why he's upset with her. But like he yeah. is short with her. She comes up and says, hi, like, let's go see the tapestries. And they're like, fuck that. Also, have you noticed these tapestries? Like all the tapestries They're all are sex. Like, they're all naked. They're it's like all... tentacles though. It's like naked people, but also like tentacles in there. Uh, I just weird. thought it was like multiple, like, like an orgy basically. It's like eight. It looks like a lot of them are, are like tits out. Like if it's just girls yeah. doing each other like in circles and whatnot but there's like a lot of legs and 
uh there's parts in weird spots <laughs> it's definitely really sexual the first time we see it is when like Rhaenyra first comes in and sees emma aaron like pregnant and early in episode yeah, one. yeah 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 they keep showing that one but it's like all over the place. yeah it's, it's all over the place i thought it was like maybe they're in like a birthing room and this is like a fertility thing that's why there's naked yeah. people fucking but no it's like this is just like their thing and they hear again they, they we hear that these come from norvos and cohort again that i think that's probably talking about the same tapestries that means nothing to show people that means nothing to most book readers i'm pretty sure norvos is where the martell's mother is from like doran and doran and Oberyn. It's mom. Mm, I don't know anything about it, but I might I might pop open the world of ice and fire to do some digging to see if there's anything weird about sex tapestries there. Very interesting. Allison comes over and gives her a little bit of a, a pep talk. The girls yep. the girls are back. They miss each other. Yeah, they're kind of friendly for again, it's weird. Like they bring them back together and then there there's conflict later on. I don't I don't really see the point of them coming back together maybe to get her to come to the garden to have that conversation maybe she wouldn't have went if again i think these two actresses are awesome but what's it it is just kind of weird how okay years gone by and supposedly allison has kept up this game of being nice to renira all the time and renira's just keep giving her the cold shoulder and i guess like we're supposed to believe that okay we just happen to be seeing the exact moment where she's starting to come around after three years of it four years of this now right. like uh, i don't know that it's kind of hard to imagine i'm ready that. for al allison is completely miserable we don't see it right now in the chronological sense but she's miserable and she doesn't like her life yeah she doesn't like her life and she's gonna i think if if everything goes continues to be like in the gray once he dies, she's going to flip the switch. Like something's – her character is going to have a, a major change. And I think Rainey's – like the Valerians are going to have a bigger part. Like I don't – I still have this vision of Rainey's talking to Allison about something. And I think it's from the trailer and I'm just waiting for – but I could be completely wrong. But I, I think I know what you're talking about. And I, and I think you're probably right I think because I think it's the older Allison actress saying yeah. something like – about like – don't you, Do you want to don't throw. you want to be queen or something like that? Yeah, right. And and the thing is like, well, I'm, I'll ask you some predictions probably towards the end. But the one thing is like Otto is like what like what's up with him? So who's pushing her to do this type of stuff now? Is it just her yeah. on her own like that type of thing? Right, right. So um, the next scene after La- well, the last part of the garden party is Damon and Rhaenyra talk for about like marriage and children. They go they talk a little bit about Damon's wife who's in the veil. And right. he's like, fuck, like, I don't see her. And she's like, yeah, she's lucky because you're not going to put a baby in her. And like, he, she's like, my mom, all she did her whole life was have children and then ended up killing they her. Killed her we right. kind of get this idea that like Rhaenyra doesn't really want to have children. This was at the garden party? It's like kind of right after the Rhaenyra scene. It cuts. It's kind of like everyone's gone except for Damon yeah. and her. And they're like off to the side. He's like mm. has his feet kicked up. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, they're right. talking in Valerian. They're, in like they're a like different... switching back and forth between Valerian right, and, right. and Common Tongue. Yeah, uh, so it's just, again, it's giving me the Queen Elizabeth the first vibe. Like, she didn't want to marry. She doesn't want to have kids. She just wants to do her thing. Um, a little selfishly, but... Yeah, I don't know th- anything about English history, but it's uh, everything you're saying sounds like what well, I think the vibe yeah. I'm trying to put off there. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you give a quick Google to Queen Elizabeth why she didn't marry. But. Which I th- Well, I think later on the... The brothel thing that when Damon takes her to the brothel, it like builds on this, right? He's like, she, cause she's saying like, no, I'm never going to like, I don't want right. to like do any of this. And he's like, he's, he's like, like can- Hey, look, you can come here and fuck whoever you want. If you <laughs> yeah, want to. yeah, exactly. So then we go to the council and we see that again, I don't know if it was made clear. I was going to say it in the, I don't know if I said it in the last podcast I was going to, but I think it was, it was a spoiler. So I held my tongue, but Thailand, one of the Lannister twins. So there was mm-hmm. twin Lannisters. One of them is on the council. So this is the one that wasn't trying to right. marry. And he's the one that came up in the, he came up in the beginning of the episode, right? Talking about the stepstones. Yeah. The one that wasn't trying to marry Rhaenyra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And basically he brings up Corlys Valerian. Cause that's one of the things that Damon and Viserys mentioned when he comes back in the throne room. And she's like, he's like, right. yeah, they're setting up a marriage between Lena and the sea Lord of Bravos, his son. Not good. Not good for Westeros. And they're like, we need a counter marriage, and everyone in the room like side eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Are you gonna help us here or not? Yeah, exactly. Uh, speaking of Thailand, a little weird that one actor p- plays a twin. You couldn't have found a 
You couldn't have found twins? Which is weird because we haven't seen it yet, but there's twin Kingsguards, right? Like Sansa mentions them. I think at least three points already at where we're at in the books, the Clash of Kings, like these two Kingsguards. There's a song made out of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and they they got twin actors to play them. And we haven't seen them yet. I, I thought like maybe when Damon was being dragged yeah. in the throne room by two, it might have been them, but they had helmets on, so I like couldn't it's really tell. It's hard to tell. It yeah. Been. I keep trying to think like or try to see is is that Kristan like or, or you know, it's hard to tell. You probably those. haven't seen the X-Men movies, like the original old school X-Men movies. His – the helmets look like Magneto helmets. I know. Right? I know so who I Magneto is. Yeah. I can't not see the Magneto helmet like yeah. when I see those. But. I can see that for sure. I think that's pretty much all they talk about in that council meeting, right? Yes, and she walks away. She goes back to her room, and she has clothes that I guess smell like Damon. Is that what she's smelling, or does it smell like a dragon? Or that's the only thing. I'm, exactly, that's the only thing I'm thinking. The only thing we've, the only smell we've heard of is when she first shows up. Her mom and Emma and Viserys both tell Rhaenyra after the first scene in episode one, "You smell like a dragon." So yeah. it's the only smell we know of. So it makes right. sense. I didn't know at first, but now that you say that makes total sense. And he, he was on the dragon, but it's just like random clothes. Like it doesn't even tie. The other thing is the letter, what gave, what tipped me off to it being Damon was the letter is in High Valyrian. Like I, I went back mm. real quick and looked at it. The letters aren't in English. And a lot of times you can look and read a normal letter in Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you look, it's a map of like the bed and it right. next to where the bed. Like, I have a big issue with this, with this scene. Hmm. Huh. The secret tunnel leads to a room that they've already been in. I I must have missed this. I wasn't paying too close attention when she was walking. I was talking right. She walks by uh the Black Dread skull again. Yes. We don't know how she got there. She's already been there. Like how do you not uh, This is my this that's my problem is like I need to see her like move a statue to get to that room. Exactly. There's got to be a part where she like pulls a, a pulls a tor- a wall sconce down and a. And a There's got to be something, but she's just like, her. So she pushes the wall. She ends up in this big ass hallway, and this big ass hallway leads to, the the dragon skull. I'm like, I don't. She must have entering half. Uh, we, we're, the, the exiting half is implied. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. I I didn't want it to be implied, but whatever. It's implied. So. They do this thing that they did in the first episode too, where like pretty much this whole sequence with Rhaenyra is intercut with this sequence with with Allison. It's not nearly right. as quick as they do with like the battle. It's like you get like a whole minute of of Rhaenyra, and then you get like ten seconds of ten, Allison. It starts with her yeah. like with the baby. She has a cup of wine or something. Then Allison goes to bed, and like this whole time we're cutting back to Rhaenyra. Yeah, that's a question I have. Um, so there's a lot that goes on in this kind of like back and forth, right? So. She gets with Damon. They start running through. She's having a good time. One of the first people that she sees is that crone with no eyes. Yeah. Weird. And I don't think there's anybody like that we know from the normal books. I was thinking about this. Like, they're, like, like we know of, again, this is going to be book stuff, but not really spoilery. Like, Miriam has door has eyes. Yeah. The ghost of High Heart has eyes. Maggie the Frog has eyes. Is is the ghost of High Heart... Ma- uh, who's the ghost of High Heart? The ghost of High Heart is one that that oh, the, bo- runs the brothers in. go to, right? Yeah, with once or twice. Yep. Um, but like those are like the crones that we kind of meet in the books, and none of the all of them have eyes. So yeah, uh, I'm I would say that maybe this girl was like giving fortunes, and someone didn't like it, and they took her eyes. But so she asks about her death, and then like this play dragon blows fire right away. So. I didn't know if that's a foreshadow or not. Uh, I don't know. Yes, you do, but <laughs> I know um, you're not going to tell me, and that's okay. But that that was my thought of. Uh, but then fire can't kill a dragon, so who knows how that would happen? The next thing I think of in the Rhaenyra stuff is she sees a play, right? She, which reminds you of Arya, right? Because right? mm-hmm. Arya saw the play. Yep. Before we get to that, though, I want to think of, like just the whole cutting back between Rhaenyra and Allison here makes me think of like the conversation that Rhaenyra and Allison had at the garden party when like the whole point of that was Rhaenyra at some point says like, well, they just want to marry me off so I, they can put me in a castle and all I can do is mm-hmm. pump out airs. And, Allison's and she like, says, sorry, uh, look at me. Like, and yeah. she's, like, she's like, fuck like, you're and like it hit a little bit too close to home. So Allison's drinking wine before she blows out her candle. So I have two thoughts. It's either actually is wine because they all, they just drink wine all the time. Or is Allison preemptively taking like a potion so she doesn't have any more of his kids? Plan A. 
plan A, a little a little yeah, pre deal. Like, Rhaenyra gets right plan B here at the end. You know, we call that moon tea or tan she, tea. Yeah, tan. She was trying to take. I just had a thought. Uh, it was like because obviously she then goes and gets. I had that before. He actually caught her in to have sex with her. It kind of makes you think. Now that you say that, I didn't think of this at the time, and now that you said it, it, makes you think of like I think this was like a cut from the trailer for season eight of Game of Thrones, where Cersei's like half crying and she takes a drink, and people are like, "Oh my god, oh, is she, she pregnant? Is she drinking wine? Like while she's pregnant with the baby?" It, like, mm. kind of gives you like a similar vibe, like with with Allison there. So they. She gets called a boy. A lot of Arya parallels. She gets called a boy. She even calls it out like, "Oh my god, he called me a boy." And, then and she, she has like plain as she has. She has boobs. Like her boobs are <laughs> seen through that shirt. Like I was kind of looking more for to see like how much of her hair was popping out, but I, yeah. I so I didn't notice. But yeah, like, I mean, I didn't. It's not like she's uh, like Melisandre walking around with nothing on. But yeah, yeah, like you can tell she has a chest. Yeah. she's not a little girl. She's not you know young Maisie uh, at like nine years old or whatever what she was when she played Arya. Yeah. So the play. Is it just about it's again like Arya, like she's just basically seeing the story so far. Mm-hmm. She who's going to be the heir, Aegon, Damon, Rhaenyra. Oh, we name Rhaenyra, and then they make the the throne. Which we had this joke. They stole this uh, from us. Yeah, th- it was literally literally our our first uh, our first logo. <laughs> it's our logo for like the first whole book. Yeah, go look at our book for one of the first. It's literally me sitting on the toilet Iron Throne reading a magazine. Um, yeah. So they somebody, stole this from somebody us. great it's, with Photoshop. This is proof them. that Ryan Condal, the showrunner, listens to Morning Throners. Ryan Condal, <laughs> shout out. Thank you. You're one of our like 50 listeners. Uh, oh, man. That was funny. <laughs> but yeah, like, again, they, they, I think they actually did the same joke with Robert or with Ned, right? Where like one of them like farts in the play that Arya sees. Yeah, I don't, I don't Probably Robert. He like also, was there, or something. cut back to the garden party. When like Viserys is drunk talking to Damon, does he like, is there like a weird fart? noise that they oh, play i don't know i didn't hear it i'd have to go back one more question too are there times where the screen looks wavy i didn't notice it might just be mine it definitely happened a lot during the auto uh the series combo at the end like the background like is wavy and i can't tell if it's just like my hbo max just not if rendering dark, maybe. it might be a compression thing because like dark like blacks don't render really well on stream yeah. uh video that's probably what it is then. It like it like jiggles, and I'm like, is that an effect or is that not supposed to be happening? But either or, I'll have to listen to the fart if I rewatch. Did, it, did you hear the fart when the guy got castrated in episode one when Damon and the gold cloaks go out and like cut off hands and stuff? When the guy gets his nuts that cut off like right he before farts? there's a weird fart effect. Yeah, it's like a really weird fart effect. No, I didn't. It sounds like a YouTube video fart effect almost. Like, like what? Are they obsessed with farts? I'm pretty sure they did it in this episode again when Viserys is talking to Damon. And he's like really drunk. Huh. Also, I noticed after you after you pointed out like his missing fingers, I've been keeping an eye out for it. Also, I think I saw something on Reddit that like they forgot to CGI out his yeah, fingers in yeah, one yeah. scene. It's got to like, be fixed by like, now. <laughs> yeah, Too green, like, like green yeah. Finger condoms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, it's got to be fixed. There, I saw it like I think Monday morning. It was like, look, another Starbucks cup, and yeah, I didn't notice it at all. I didn't notice it watching the first one because that was like the one thing I was like staring for was to see his fingers. Yeah, and I thought I would have seen them, but I don't know. The one thing my one buddy, my one buddy, a shout out, he always listened to the podcast. He was like asking me, like, dude, there's got to be a hole in the series' back by now, and he was texting me that before this episode like in between like this last week and, and then we, we, get, see a, his we back. get a direct overhead shot when he's giving it to allison dude his back yeah. is like how do they not think that he is uh dying if I'm allison i'm like keep your fucking shirt on i mean i get they want to show up yeah. but if i'm allison I'm like keep your fucking shirt on dude do you have grayscale like what the fuck's <laughs> yeah. going on with your back dude stop sitting on the stop sitting on it like stand in front of the throne if you're yeah. getting cut that bad yeah um um but cut back to Al- uh not Allison, Rhaenyra at the play. It was kind of cool. She does shout like, boo, fuck you. Yeah, it's like something yeah. like that. When uh, they start making fun of her. Liar. Like some, or yeah, when they start saying funny. like, Aegon is the rightful. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. She's funny. That's what like, she's cool. Uh, she's got some spunk to yeah. her. She's definitely likable. So when she runs away. She like takes a piece of food because she's like, Again, yeah. she probably just forgets herself. Does forgets that she's like has to pay oh, for I it. I can't just yeah, take stuff. <laughs> and Damon like kind of jokingly 
not joking, like like covering her, like, oh, you can't just take that street rat. And then she just books it. He's like, oh, don't worry, I'll chase her down. Mm. Which is a good cover. And then she runs into a gold cloak. Which is the strong. Yeah, Sir Har- I didn't know if you like caught that. I don't know. Again, like he says Sir Harwin. I don't know like if This is the guy's son, right? This is the guy that was he was uh stripping the rabbit or exactly yeah, the good rabbit. call. So you, you pointed this out in, like you had texted me uh, in mm-hmm. the last podcast I was wrong about something. I said it was like a bolt and schedule on this guy. And you're right, this was the guy stripping the rabbit is actually a strong who is the son of the guy who like seemingly is giving keeps giving counsel. it to him straight. Yeah, giving yeah. like say Marion Lane or like you should have married Lena. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. So yeah. And this is who she runs into. And what I forget what he says. He's like Princess, what are you doing out here? And she's like, I'm not a princess. And he like plays along. And then she's like, Yeah, for whatever reason. I don't I mean, I guess he was like, Whatever, have your fun. He sees Damon, right? So he's like and the other All thing right, is at least Damon, she's not alone. Damon it was four years ago. We don't like Harwin the might captain, have been, but he right. was the captain of the gold cloaks. Right. To the point where like they trusted him. They trusted Damon to the point where they went with him to Dragonstone. Mm-hmm. Like when Otto shows up, they're like, what the fuck? He's like, what are you gold clubs doing? And he, Damon's like, I'm their commander. Like, right, they trust right, right. Me. So they were pretty loyal to Damon. Uh, so let's get into the brothel scene. Super weird. Yeah. Um, You obviously knew about it, or at least the rumor of it. Again, it's weird. There's a few different scenes that they are kind of combining here. So I don't want to say too much about like what was in the book because mm-hmm. I don't know if like they're combining they're taking like half of those again. they're taking like half of those scenes and making them true here. Yeah. Or they're taking half of them and making them true here, and the other half are gonna be true in like the next episode. You know what I mean? So I don't wanna like say anything yeah. from the book. So let me I'll just I'll just make some comments about it then. Uh super like Stupid that they're doing it in front of all these people. There's so many eyes in this building. <laughs> yeah, they got their hair – like the hats aren't on anymore. Like you know what I mean? Like, she like obvious. calls him Damon I think. Like they're using names almost. Like it's so – She yells She yells Damon like, Damon, like where would you go yeah. like, when, she le- when he leaves? Yeah. Are they – they either don't give a fuck or they're stupid. So the one thing is like is Damon – it seems like Damon's having like some – internal struggle here like he kind of wants to fuck her but he doesn't want to fuck her yeah but like my first thought when like kind of what you're saying like what are you doing why are you being so out in the open is my first thought was does da- is damon doing this on purpose like did he da- bring her to this place to see her so that everyone would see this happening and like yeah. we get back but then like because he actually seems torn i don't know again like damon is one of the biggest mm-hmm. mysteries and i think we're gonna find we have to find yeah. some st- – if they don't, like, give us some answers for some of this, like, what Damon's motives, All it's right. going to be kind of like a lackluster at, at the end. I How think. many episodes in this season? Do we know? Ten. Ten. Okay. And they're all long. Like, like I think that only one so far has been under an hour. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, to your point, like, I don't know a lot of, like – I know events that happened. I don't know, like, motive. So I think I think Damon's interesting. I thought it was – we'll get into some of this in, in a little bit when we get to later in the episode. But I thought he might have been, like, up to something here. Yeah, like maybe he was gonna like strip her down and then like bail on her naked in front, or like let somebody else come into the party. And to like, if he was like, like you're saying, did they actually like? <laughs> they didn't fuck for long if they fucked, but like, yeah, did he insert? Like, <laughs> I'm sure Ace would have a funny way to say this, but did he like? Did he penetrate at all? Right, that's kind of like the big question. That would be the big no no. Right, that if as long as that doesn't happen. Yeah, she's she's not defiled, as they right? say. Is right? That the, that's, is that the rule? That's the that's the well, line. That I, don't, crossed, I, don't, right? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. What, what if he's like sitting her butt? Is that a? <laughs> I, don't know. I I'm not the rule maker. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attack that one. All right, it's up to you. Uh, um, so the we thought, don't gotta get into the details, but yeah, like you know what I'm saying. The, the thought is like, is he sincere? Like, do they love each other? Like, is there this connection between the two of them that's more than what we what I had thought previously? That's definitely a question. But kind of where I was getting out with, with my stupid joke was like, if he was trying to like do something sneaky here, mm. right? Maybe to take it a step further than I want this to be seen. Like, maybe I don't really want to fuck my niece. But I want to cross the line and technically fuck my niece. So maybe mm-hmm. he does just stick it in and run, right? You know what I mean? Just so he crosses that. Because it's one of the things where it's left ambiguous. Like we're, le- I think we're yeah. meant to be like. Yeah. Was he like kissing her neck or was he penetrating from the behind? Exactly. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. And I'm like, well, and well, then it goes into the whole next couple scenes is like, did she do it? Did she not? She says, well, it doesn't really matter because she does whatever she wants in the very next scene. 
but it it, played it, so well two- too because like if she would have done that at the beginning of the episode right like she goes but because like say the whole damon her running off with damon doesn't happen she yeah. goes back to her room right the, right before that and sees christian imagine she b- invites christian in and like seduces him right at that point mm-hmm. everyone's it like doesn't... fuck you rhaenyra yeah but like she's clearly like again like, just been like abused i don't know you she, with, she just you got left in a brothel yeah uh yeah. she got uh blue legged i think it's like blue yeah blue bald uh i was just watching orange is the new black and one of the lesbians on there says uh she left me blue legged i don't know <laughs> if that's a term or not but it, it was in that show so i'm going with it Okay. Um, so w- w- one more thing like just on Damon's uh, reasons for doing it one he actually did want to marry her and he does ask for series in the throne room coming up or two he just wanted to make her not suitable for somebody else so I will say that's one of the things in the book that like uh, we know that Damon gets kicked out of the city Right. And mm. it's kind of because in the books, we know Damien gets kicked out of the city kind of like happens here. And we know it's kind of like for some sexual stuff with Rhaenyra. And, but it's like, does he fuck her or doesn't he fuck her? Right. And what he says to Viserys in the books is give her to me. Like no one else will take her, which kind of in the books, like it kind of makes if again, there's a couple different theories uh, or a couple different things thrown out. But like in that thing, like in that possibility, it's made to seem like if he did do this, it's so kind of like you're saying the whole point was. Mm-hmm. defile her hoping that Viserys now says okay no one will take her you have you're you're gonna marry her and therefore you're gonna yeah be on the throne which is kind of what Viserys calls him out for it so in that scene so she gets blue legged he bails like I don't understand he does he go back to his old whore like his old whore has left Dragonstone and she's back or is she now the, she's definitely back she's well yeah she was there obviously but uh did he sleep with her then? Is she the master of spies? And so I she, think he, I think he shuffles. He shuffled to the. He apartments. shuffled. Okay. He. Yeah. I, I get the reference. Nobody else will. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, he's like, he's like, you know what? I, I feel guilty with whatever I'm yeah. doing. I feel the way I took it is like I feel guilty with Rhaenyra. I'm going back to my main squeeze, who like to my easy booty call. Yeah. Who. The spy, the kid spy that was outside of the brothel, not inside. So that's a big thing of like he only sees her leaving, but he probably saw Damon leave through the same door right before. But yes, right. So unless he was in there spying too, which there was a lot of eyes, I'm not doubting it was. But we saw him kind of casually sitting there and saw her leave. He comes in and pays. Who I'm assuming the girl now is the White Snake, white or the worm. the White Worm, who she pretty much says like, "No, I'm not a whore anymore." Because it didn't pay well, I, I wasn't gonna get paid well or whatever. So now she's she's selling so it's spies. A good, it's a good catch. That was something that like when I was watching it, I was like, "Am I gonna be able to tell Jeff this?" Like, because when the, when he because what the thing that you're she's not wearing saying, white. Be- I mean, she's yeah, wearing she's white. wearing white, but also in between those two scenes, the little boy goes to Otto. Right, right. Otto talks to the little right. boy, and That's he says, "I'm being paid like from the White Worm, like mm-hmm. on behalf of the White Worm or something." And when I when I heard that, I'm like, "Oh." It's this this lady's behind it, which in my mind is like she's so then going to the next scene is she, Damon doesn't know. Damon seems no. to not know that she while is fucking a, is him a spy teller is giving how, auto information about it behind Damon's back. How long do you think she's been given? Uh, you think she's been given info for a while now? I will say uh, I don't know. I'll say my first thought before. So when I saw the auto scene where the boy pays auto and says from the white worm, mm. I knew from the book who the white that the white worm was that lady like you just said and my thought was if damon is playing this game where he wants this news to get out yeah then he just told her he just like, told her he, he, had, tell he, he had her to do it on purpose but then you go to the scene with him and her and it looks like she's doing it behind his back right maybe not well she you doesn't know, admit not. to being a secret teller or a exactly. spy. She just says, I found a different way to make money besides. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another interesting ploy. Did Damon conspire with the white worm to tell Otto this, knowing that Otto would take it to Viserys, knowing that Viserys would not enjoy the news and shoot the messenger. It, it's one of my notes is this is the second episode in a row that the messenger gets shot. I kind of had a similar note. Like Otto is being kind of the, the least schemey he's been so far. He's literally just being a good hand in yeah. this episode. He's just giving information that a king would probably want to know. Right. There's 
I mean, there's kind of gain in it for him in that if he does a disinherit sure. Rhaenyra, then it goes to Aegon. But like, this is something that even if it wasn't his grandson who gains from it, a normal hand would, would probably tell, this tell the king. Yeah, exactly. But this is the one he gets punished for. Like the least schemy one is the one that he gets punished for, which again, we don't like. Yeah, it, we don't know why he gets removed exactly in the books. We're just kind of like he gets fed up, but mm-hmm. it's kind of what we hear. But yeah, no. So uh, a couple of things that we we skipped over. We're doing good. Uh, the Allison getting fucked. We cut. We, we kind of skimmed over it. She, she doesn't miserable. look happy. Miserable. And and Rhaenyra's having a blast making out with her uncle. <laughs> yeah, which is weird, but <laughs> I think I think that's kind of comparing. Like I was saying, that Allison was or Rhaenyra said, "I don't want to be an heir stuck in a castle, pump, yeah. or uh, be a woman stuck in a castle pump without heirs. I'm right. gonna do whatever I want." She's doing whatever she mm-hmm. wants, whether it's weird or not. And Allison's doing the thing that Rhaenyra is trying to run and from. It's it's funny because Allison was playing the lady two in the garden party. Like, oh, would you like to see the tapestry? It's like. Yeah. Nobody wants to look at your goddamn tapestries, like. But and then she's holding the baby, and then she's like gets called on, and you can tell she really doesn't want to go. Yeah. Another thing, uh, there's a rat that looks down on Allison. Yeah. And there's rats that see Rhaenyra run out of the. There's rats like in the skull when Rhaenyra's mm-hmm. running out. But so let's go to the rat that sees Allison. That is right after I think uh, the little kid sees Rhaenyra run out of the room. Mm. So in the in the show, I think Varys calls them his little birds. But in the yeah. books, I think he calls them his little birds too. But he goes on to explain in a later book that when like he when he first started out as a spy master without avoiding spoilers, when he first started out with a spy master, he was working with somebody else, and they kind of had this thing. But they called them their little mice. Mm. I think this is kind of a hint to that that rats looking at someone is similar to like spying. So I think we're near getting looked on by a rat is kind of like a parallel to Allison. Uh, yeah, Allison getting looked on by a rat as a parallel to a spy. A spy a seeing little Rhaenyra. Bird scene Rhaenyra. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know what the rats in the skull mean, but again, I think now I'm thinking in this show, rats mean it's spies. Just, yeah. Was somebody watching? Is somebody watching her leave? Did somebody know exactly? Did somebody see that she escaped there? Yeah. All right. So she comes back and seduces Sir Kristen. Very disappointed in my guy. I was just hyping him up last week. What do you mean? As like dunk? At, as a, a knight that, you know, wouldn't lose his valor or, or he would be a, a, an honest knight and first sight of first sight of her and he, he's jumping into bed. He tried. He tried. As he, he did not try. He did better than you would have done. For sure. <laughs> but I didn't take an oath. <laughs> he would have done better than you would have done if you would have taken the oath. I, no, I'm a man of honor. What are you talking about? His head about? is like, oh, is anyone going to find out? Is anyone going to find out? Right? That's got to be what's going through his head. That's like the only, if you're a Kingsguard, that's he. The thing is, I saw He's a lot, supposed to be standing post. Hold on. Let's do a quick reminder because I've seen a lot of people like over the past week because there's a scene with her and him in the boar scene last episode. And right. I've seen a lot of people being like, oh, she's just going to pick this guy to marry. Like, because like yeah. when Viserys says. You, that's illegal. I'm like, people do, do people forget that Kingsguard can't. And maybe they do forget because the main Kingsguard we see is Jamie and he's fucking yeah. Cersei all the time. He's, but yeah, he it's like a rule children. for the Kingsguard. You're not allowed to fuck people. And what I'm seeing and a lot – the thing that this makes me think of, like this this whole scene was the Ares Oakheart chapter – I think we only get one in the entire thing. The Ares Oakheart chapter from A Feast of Crows, whatever it is, mm-hmm. where he's meeting with the Princess of Dorne mm-hmm. and she's seducing him. And I think she's doing it to try and do some Marcella stuff, but – here it's a, it's a similar thing and in 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 that chapter we're in his head and he's just like oh my god i shouldn't do this i'm a honorable king's guard like it's the only time yeah. we're in somebody's head who's like trying to right talk to their vows yeah. yeah um i think it was shot super well like yeah she no. seemed so like desperate like it, it made sense why she was trying to do it and it made sense like yeah i mean so, she's pretty fucking good looking it makes sense why he would do it my note was she either really likes Kristen or just really wanted to she was super horned up or like a little column a little column b or she wanted to defile she like actually want like maybe so this was my thought damon didn't do it damon didn't penetrate she then had the idea of i'm gonna get somebody to penetrate so that i will be no longer a maiden so nobody wants to marry me she's kind of like self-sabotaging i will say that like I, like I'm saying, there's many different options thrown out in the book. 
That is yeah. 100% one of them. I don't want to say what I know, what I don't know. One of them yeah. is that Rhaenyra goes to Christian and basically says, fuck me so that in in the books, it's after he says you're going to marry Lenor. Then yeah. in the book, she goes to Christian saying, fuck me so I don't have to marry Lenor. Right. Um, which again, so, well, I don't want to say some of the stuff because it's like out of sure. order. Who knows like if something happens again, but I don't think that's a, spo- I don't think that's a spoiler because you, you nailed that on the head. Yeah. I'm that's curious. exactly a theory from the, from the, I don't think that's how, I didn't take it that way at all in the show, but that's a hundred percent a theory that like yeah. is straight up proposed that way on the page in the books. Yeah. I'm curious if, which I don't know if they do this and it's really fucked up. If they're going to like inspect her, I, I can't, I can't imagine them allowing the, like the Valerians to like ask for this inspection and then them going through it. But if this rumor spreads enough, that's interesting because the way I the way I kind of took what you're suggesting is that that uh, we'll, we'll get to it at the end. But like okay. with the moon tea thing, kind of like here's yeah. this thing, which is which is two ways. Hey, if you take this, if you take it, you you had sex. You had sex for sure. So if you don't take it, but if you don't take it, then you're risking getting pregnant. But also, yeah. if you take it, you're risking not having kids anymore, which she doesn't seem to, to not want. So maybe, which is kind of the other hand, like would she take this potion that maybe says I can never have kids just yeah. so uh, she can never have kids and not because she actually had sex, even though we know she had sex. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Could that be the argument is I just took it because I wanted to be infertile because kind of what she said to Damon earlier is I never want to well, like my mom died because she was having kids her whole life. Like that's not mm-hmm. me. Uh, uh, yeah. sen- sentiment. That's not me. Uh, I didn't realize, I guess, that Moon T could fuck her up. The maester says that. He's Long. like, he's like, if brewed correctly, then yeah. it will A, re- null the pregnancy, but also that won't have any further complications is what I think what he says. Mm. Interesting. Again, real quick uh, book spoiler. A theory why Lysa Aaron had so many. Because she was pregnant. Oh, oh. She uh, had like three or four stillborn ch- children and a ho- holster. Re- Makes her is it holster hoster hoster yeah makes hoster her drink, makes her drink it after teeth. Peter exactly uh, and then she has a bunch of stillborns and Robert is like kind of not the strongest of babies exactly He's sickly they call him sickly all right so then so Otto brings Otto the, hears the news yep then we get the white uh, Masseria and Damon scene again I think the other thing that makes me think that he like is super conflicted and not. Again, I think he's probably playing some sort of game, but he's also actually conflicted. He got so drunk. Like, he's so hungover, he can't even stand up in the throne. Yeah. So, like, that makes me think that he got drunk for a reason. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. not, but... I was curious if he was just that hungover, which, I mean, I don't know. I've never been that hungover that my back... Like, it looked like his back hurt, you know? And I guess he just slept on the ground, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But he looked like he was in, like, more physical pain than... Uh, hangover, like maybe the King's Guard like gave him a punch or two, but they just drag him in. I mean, he walked in on his own power. They take him. I, I, it looked yeah, I like know. that he's either his hangover might be the worst hangover that's ever been depicted on screen. Well, I think that was the point. Was that the like, hey, this guy has a super bad hangover, implying he got super fucked up the night before, which you could, which I took to meant like, mean like he was so like inflicted, like he was already drinking with Rhaenyra. And then he has this, like, he's like, oh, do I fuck her? Don't I fuck her? Like, what am I going through? Like, trying yeah. to fuck my niece? Like, what? Like again, maybe he was doing that because he was playing games. And then afterwards, maybe he did stick it in and run. And then he felt so bad about it. He got super, super fucked up. You know, like, again, yeah. like, I, th- I think a yeah, lot of it I can was, see like, it he felt for guilty sure. Or, a lot of it was because he was just super fucked up the night before. That's yeah. how I took it. But, yeah, I don't think we know. So he proposes then, like, let me marry her. And Viserys like, get the fuck out of here. Like it's a little bit weird that of what the Targaryens hold as like good Targaryen history. And Viserys is not about the idea at all of him taking a second wife. And he's Viserys like, or Damon's like, this guy did it. Like we, we've, you married your cousin. The second wife thing isn't as big, but yeah, Damon and Damon and Viserys is mom and dad were brother and sister. So like, yeah, the incest thing shouldn't be as big of a deal. Again, the age gap thing might be a, a bigger deal and he doesn't clarify quite what he's pissed off at there. Yeah. But he doesn't deny it again. I don't know exactly what he says, but he kind of plays it like he did with the air for a day thing where he's like, did you do it? And he, and he says like, what if I did? 
but he yeah. doesn't say no, yes or no. He didn't say yes or no. And Viserys and Allison even talk about this later on, and we'll get to it then. Yeah, uh, I, I think before he comes back, Allison calls her to the Weirwood. Yep. Yeah, we skipped over it. I was going to go back to it. Yeah. She lies. She's a liar. She says that he never touched me. She never. Yeah. So that was my first like, whatever. People lie. Uh, but now I'm like, damn, she is. A, she's not. She's not just like pure. Or I don't want to say pure. She's gray. Like she's lying now, which I guess maybe she doesn't even give a fuck about Allison. She'll say whatever she wants. But well, him that I thought was interesting about that was she says, "I swear on my mother." That yeah. he never touched me. And somebody else has also already sworn on Emma Aaron's death. That was that was uh Viseri saying I won't I think up, it uproot you on Or it was for I'm not sure if it was that or for your marriage. Like you can choose who you marry. And then he uproot he overrules that decision mm. later. But again, this yeah. is something that happens in the main book series where a couple times people actually swear or I think sign like binding contracts with blood in the main mm. five book series. And I think the thought is anytime someone signs in blood, it's actually – they're like not telling the truth. It's like a fake <laughs> – but they're going to break that contract. And we mm-hmm. haven't gotten to any yet in our podcast, so I think it happens two or three times. Very in the last interesting. Books. So I, I think this is kind of cool where people swearing on this, on Emma Aaron's death, <laughs> seem to be lying, right? Viserys is saying – you can marry yeah. who you want. And then at the end, he's like, okay, you're going to marry who I want. And then here she's saying, he never touched me. We know he at least touched her. There was her pants were off. Her pants were off and they <laughs> were making out. And yes, it, before that he, Christian Cole's one that comes to get Rhaenyra to take her to, and he comes in and she's like, come over here. Come yeah. on. And he like, like even looks eyes, again. And he's like, immediately, like, again, he looks immediately guilty the next day. Which again gives me Aries Ocart vibes. He one, he should he should feel guilty. Two, he could have got caught. Like he's supposed to be one. I'll say a couple different things, but he should be standing post on her door. Someone walks by and sees he's not standing post. That's enough to like just walk in the door and like, then exactly like a random gold cloak or a random like Targaryen guard. Like oh wait, why is there no one on duty why? here, princess? Yeah. Then what? Yeah, I guess you could say like don't come in. But yeah. like, no, someone's walking yeah, in. You're, you're right. A hundred percent. I was in that too. If there's no one on the door, uh-huh, that just raises suspicion alone. Yeah. When does he sleep? If he's always protecting her. During breakfast time, he sleeps. And then we got uh Westerling on her. I haven't seen it. He's been with her every, all the time. It's him. But I get you. Kings guards are no rest type, type of job. They man. just don't sleep. Sleep's a learned habit. Uh, all right. So we go to Viserys and Allison. Right. And she's like, I believe her. She says, why would Damon lie? Like, what's the benefit? And why would Damon right. lie about actually? Like, why would, Viserys says, why Damon's, would he actually? Damon's lied in the past. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we talked about it. Like, if he's pretty sure that Viserys isn't going to name Aegon, right? Then by doing this, maybe he does, like, okay, fine. Then you'll marry her because no one else will take her now. Like, maybe that's an mm-hmm. option. Um, so maybe that's why he was doing it. Right. Allison says she is I can't read my notes. Mooden. Hmm? Maiden. She's a maiden. <laughs> she's a maiden. Maiden. There's a dot there. Yeah. Mooden. Al- Allison says she believes that Rhaenyra is still maiden. Yeah. Right? She's like, Rhaenyra told me she's a maiden. She promised me I believe it. Yeah. She swore to her mother. Did she maybe she did swear this when we didn't see, but the thing is like, wait, maybe. Allison is misinterpreting the promise, right? She said Damon didn't touch me, right? Let's let's say we take touch as it means fuck, right? Right. It's not how I took it, but let's say that's right, what she right, means. Right. So say Nier wasn't lying about that. Now Allison thinks like, oh, she's saying she's a maiden, mean Damon didn't fuck her, but she but, just she just lo- she just left out the Christian Cole part, right? Right. Right. Which isn't a lie. It's a great it's a great technique. If you don't know this, like everyone's used this technique before. Your parents are like grilling you, like. <laughs> Did you do this, 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 or this? And you're like, no. And you're in the back of your head, you're like, I did this, which you're not do that be happy one. about. But yeah, you didn't <laughs> ask me that, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, you, you can't be a witness. Or what's the, isn't there a... Uh... Plead the fifth, yeah. You, yeah. you can't be forced to testify against yourself. Yeah. <laughs> or a spouse, I think. Good to know. I think, I, think that's, I think that's rumor. That might be a different thing. There's a, there's a thing where you can not have to testify against your spouse. Hold on. Have you watched The Sopranos? No. 
it happens in the Sopranos and it's like that's like law and order bullshit like you can actually <laughs> really yeah you can be called to the stand I'm pretty sure so you can be called to the stand but I think there's an amendment where you can say uh like if the you can be called to the stand but when you plead the fifth again I don't know well we're you getting... can always plead the fifth podcast think, is but... already going long and we're we're almost we're done need to get... we don't need to get into the lawyer stuff then Rainier goes to see Viserys dagger he pulls out the dagger yeah, I didn't really get this. Like, what? Did, why did we need this? We already, he already told her this story. Like, the only difference between this and the time in the dragon skull room was that he torched the. He just did it so she could read the story here. It was, yeah, he's like, oh, this we, we is already on talked the about this forever. Yeah, we already like, talked about it. It. We learned nothing new from him letting her read the dagger, even though we both called. The dagger having the message on it. I, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get it either. Because it seems like it's like, oh, look, here's for the book readers. Like, the book readers are going to love this. Because, like, the Song of Ice and Fire and Rhaegar's yeah. prophecy and stuff. Because, like, the only time we really hear this is in the House of the Undying vision that Danny sees of Rhaegar. Right? Where he's mm-hmm. holding the baby. Ellie Martell's in the bed. She says, are you going to make a song for him? And she's, he says, he has a His song. song. His song. His song. His Song of Ice and Fire. He is the prince that was promised. There must be one more. Three heads has a dragon, and he like looks at Danny, who's like yeah. seeing a vision. We're actually gonna two podcasts from now. We haven't recorded it yet, but two podcasts from now is a Danny chapter where she thinks about this a lot. Um, I just think it's mm. kind of weird how this is lining up. <laughs> but it it's is. like the only time we ever hear that in the entire five book series. It it kind of makes you wonder if George is gonna play in Winds of Winter with like, are we gonna learn that Rhaegar found this, had this dagger? And, yeah. But like, well, at some point, right? If if it's really written on the dagger, someone, I don't even know who has the dagger in the end of Feast or Dance. Of, what's the last book? Dance. Yeah, I. Littlefinger. Littlefinger has it where we're right. at now, and I don't think it changes hands. So at some point, does someone drop it in the fire, and then? But then you'd have it's to be Valerian. able. You have to Valerian. right. Danny's the, the only Danny. one. Danny. Danny's the only one. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how it just, it was the, it was the skull scene, whatever episode that was episode one or yeah, two. So one, it was that scene copied again, copy and paste with the dagger. Basically. The only thing that I can see with this is they're going to make this like a major reason for Rhaenyra to do certain things in the future is my only thought. Right, because here she's saying like, okay, I will do this thing. I will wed Lenor. Right, the whole point yeah. is the, where this ends up is I will wed Lenor because you're saying like Viserys' argument is you have to do what's good for the realm. This whole prophecy, right? It's like it's not about you. It's not about what you want. It's not about what I want. It's about this prophecy. We gotta save the world, and if right. we want to save the world, we gotta be united. If we want to be united, you gotta marry Lenor. And she's like, okay, well, if we want to be united, we can't have counselors playing games for their own ends get rid of yeah Otto. yeah crazy so the only reason i can see them bringing this back up is if like in the future right this season mm-hmm. and future seasons and right. again this isn't ever mentioned in the books but maybe like some of the stuff in the books where it's like somebody maybe rainier does something that seems like kind of out of the blue and we're like why the fuck would she do that like in the books like, it doesn't make sense like why she, mm-hmm. she do that maybe they're gonna use this as a reason like oh she did this because she thought it would be a step towards this prophecy being fulfilled. It's the only reason why yeah. I can see them kind of hammering, hammering at home. I can see, all right, maybe I'll, I'll backpedal a little bit on why Viserys is telling her the story again, because she's like kind of fought to this point for a year now of not picking a suitor. And if she's not the prince that like, he's full thinking it's a guy, right? A prince guy. Yeah. If she's not the prince, then she has to have the prince. That's true. So it's like, you need to, you need, you to, need to do this. Yeah. yeah. So. The, the, yeah. What I have in my notes here is for it is focus up. Like the series is telling Rhaenyra, like quit playing games. Lock focus in. up. Yeah. We got a game on Saturday. Right. <laughs> we, here's a prophecy. This is what we got to be worried about. Right. And I don't yeah. give a fuck if your girlfriend just dumped you. I don't care if you're failing math class. We got a game on Saturday. Focus <laughs> the fuck up. That's kind of how I took it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's basically what it is. Yeah. Another cool line from this is, and I don't remember exactly what they're talking about. Truth doesn't matter. It just the person. Oh, when she's saying like, you never asked me if I fucked Damon or not. Like, why did you ask everybody else? He's like, truth doesn't matter. Only the presumption. 
like only what everyone believes. And mm-hmm. he's basically like, at this point, it's out. Which again, this reminds me of a, a conversation we had in um for earlier in Clash of Kings when the rumor when Stannis finally spreads the rumor, not rumor, the truth about Cersei and Jamie. Right. And then they have the council meeting, the Tyrion chapter where they have the council meeting. Cersei's so like, cut out their tongues. Yeah. If you cut out their tongues, you're only proven that you're afraid of what mm-hmm. they're gonna say, right? Yeah. I'm curious of how all right, so the next episode's the last one with the young girl, right? Or do we go right I think do we you're go right. ten years? I think you're right. I think five episodes and then six one will go the next after the next episode we go ten years. So I'm curious of how this rumor the rumor mill is spread. Exactly. In this yeah. next in this next episode. Because yeah, I didn't finish the thought there, but the, the, what they tell Cersei when she's saying cut of their tongues is they're like it's out the cat the cat's out of the bag. Like yeah. <laughs> They've already said it. Everyone knows already. And it kind of makes me think of what Varys tells Tyrion in season eight. Like once, so Sansa tells Tyrion about Jon Snow and very Tyrion tells Varys and Varys like, how many people know? And he's like five. And he's like, once three people know, it's not a secret. It's a rumor. Yeah. It's just a matter of time till everyone knows. <laughs> so it's like, as soon That's as funny. it's not two I don't people, that, yeah. Varys basically says, as soon as it's not two people, it's, it's just news. It's not a secret anymore. It's just news. Right. So it's, I think that's kind of what Viserys is saying here too. Uh, so then he calls an auto, and I I kind of missed. Was his dad the hand? His dad had been named Hand. Ba- Baylor, Balon, Baylor, Baylor the Brave. Yes, yep, Baylor the Brave because he rode Vagar, the biggest, right. second biggest dragon behind Balerion, the biggest dragon right. after Balerion died. So he gets named Hand and dies five days later? I think that's what we're learning here. Yeah, we knew some of this stuff. We knew that he kind of died of appendicitis. From the books, it was always fishy if the maesters mm. had anything to do with it because I think, like, a new grand maester gets to court, like, a week before this happens. We know that the High Towers, Otto's family, is based out of Old Town, which is where the Citadel is, mm. and the cap, like, the headquarters of the Faith right. of the Seven. We've mentioned this before, like, Basically assume High Towers, Maesters, and Faith of the Seven, like Septons, all on the same side. So, again, this is cool because, like, as a book reader, we this has always been a suspicion. And it's still a suspicion, but Viserys is basically saying, I'm suspicious as fuck of this. Yeah. My father was named Hand. Five days later, he's dead. Yeah. And, like, he went from being healthy as... Right. As, as, as anything to and, dead in five and you days came up from first belly. Uh, you came up from a normal person to now being the second most powerful man and you've done that now for two kings yeah exactly so again it's not a confirmed did Otto do this on purpose it's not right. confirmed but like Viserys is heavily suggesting it and then what he does call him out straight is like he's like what how did Allison end up in my room the yeah. night my wife died well that's yeah so he's like he's like at first i was hurt and i was grieving so i didn't think of it but it's been four years i thought mm-hmm. about it you're a scumbag you're a scumbag yeah. and but now i was a little bit conflicted with Otto too i was like all right you definitely were a scumbag for what you do with allison like i called him out like p- pure creeper move he's mentioning Aegon last episode of all right this is oh he's gonna be the heir like he's got to be the heir yeah you know him and his him and his dad were talking about it so pure scumbag like he's definitely a scumbag but then like he he told her news of what he like he was trying to be his hand at the moment of delivering the message and i'm like damn like he's really getting fired for doing his job <laughs> i know it's like it's like you get punished for doing the right thing in, in westeros like everything yeah backwards. so i don't i don't feel for him at all i'm curious of i did not foresee him getting fired so that's a, another cool kind of loose end that's not tied up. Like what happens to him now? Does he now really start conspiring with the Maesters because he is from Old Town? That would be cool to see. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to say. I don't want to say anything. One thing I was. One thing I always wondered from the books was. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. I think I think it would be a little. I think it would be borderline spoilery. So, um, I think it just. I think Viserys is a, is a cool character. The last scene is Rhaenyra. She just trying to. She's sitting there. I don't know what she's doing. Maester brings in the moon tea, the tan yeah. tea, whatever you want to call it. Plan B, Plan B bottle. Plan B. And he says, "Drink this, and as long as it's brewed correctly, you won't be pregnant, and you'll be able to all your downstairs parts will work like they used to." But yeah, there's a do you potential. think it's? Do you think it's? I it's probably you know twofold. This is a test for sure. Did you do this? Mm-hmm. 
and please take it in case you did so we can pretend that you didn't one so one thing i wanted to yeah well i think it's kind of a i think you're right it's like a, a test like the series is saying did you have did you have sex or not it's kind of is what he said you yeah. know what i mean it's like he's giving yeah. you the option it's it, it, it my, one of the predictions I was going to have for you, again, I don't know the answer to this, but I have suspicions that are based on things that you don't know about. So I was going to, I was going to wonder like, what do you think about this? What do you, do you think she, w- one thing is, do you think we're going to find out? Cause the thing that they, this show is leaving a lot of, of stuff ambiguous. Right. And I'm wondering how people are feeling about it. I don't like it because well, I wanted you thought answers. It, you thought this was going to answer your questions. All my questions. Book, and it's, yeah. it's just leaving them unanswered. Uh, so what I thought was it's super curious to me that the maester leaves. The maester doesn't fo- – like I, I don't know if he could force her. Like he doesn't watch her to see if she does drink it. Correct. Right. So she could dump it, pretend that she drank it. So why would you do that? This is you're, – you're 100% right. This is a possibility. She could dump I, it. I'm just saying because he didn't watch her do it, it's kind of like – a urine test. Like if the doctor doesn't watch you do it, you could have a fake, fake bottle of pee and rock to your leg. Do- and- but what that is doing is saying, yes, I fuck somebody. Maybe she'd just do it to piss off her dad. I don't know. I, the, I uh, could see that because of the whole, like per- it's the perception who gives a fuck. People are going to say I did anyway. Yeah. So why not, why not let them think that? But at that point, why not drink it? Because you actually did. And you probably don't want to have a kid. Except yeah. for, and you, and it looked like she stayed on top. At the end, if you know what I'm saying. Somebody told me if girls, if the girl stays on top, you can't get pregnant. It's, it's just gravity, right? It's just gravity, exactly. So she doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Do not. That's that's a folk tale, boys. Don't believe. Wrap it up. Wrap your willy. Don't be silly. I don't know if we'll find out if she drank it or not. Like I don't. I don't foresee her in the next episode being like, "Well, I drank your tea and." Now I can't get pri- – or something like that. Like I just want the episode to almost start on like <clears throat> the bottle outside her door and just like being obviously full or obviously empty. Yeah. That's kind of how I want the next episode to start. I don't I, think I, it's, I, I think we're not going to ever think know. I But I, that's how I – where I Well, the maester you would think would have a note of this, right? Like the maester probably wrote in his journal, I visited – maybe they didn't want this in writing. But if he had like a secret – This is a huge plot point. Like this is – it goes differently in the books but like – this is like the whole Cersei plot point. Like she gets like Maester Pycel to can to uh admit on in trial that he brought moon tea to Marjorie and her cousins. Right. Right. Like so to your point, like the Maester doesn't even need to he keep track. He just needs to be able to tell somebody later right. that he brought this to her. And to your point, I think that's that's why you would not drink it. Is so that and again, the Maester could always lie, like Pycel right. was probably doing. But that's why not drink it. It's so that people don't think. Yeah. You can always be like, I never fought anybody. I never even drank the moon tea type thing. Right. I don't. So I don't know. I don't know if she, I don't think she's going to drink it. I don't, also don't think she's going to get pregnant. I also don't think, I don't think she's going to have a kid. So she either drank it and it fucks her up or she just got lucky and didn't get pregnant. You know what I mean? I don't think she's going to get married to the Valerian kid. Something's going to go wrong there. And I think I kind of think there's three three heads to this oncoming dragon fight, the dance of dra- like it takes three, right? Uh, Aegon, Rhaenyra, Lenor is is now the third. Like they're gonna make a they're gonna make a move. Um, and I think Damon's gonna jump on Rhaenyra's side as as a helping commander. Like, gotcha. So the one thing I'm thinking, it, one thing that they've changed a little bit is the age of Aegon and his now sister, right? He said, like you said, she had the, there was a little baby girl. <laughs> they are, I think, younger now. I'm just trying to think. So if they do a 10 year, so Aegon was two in the last episode. He's, if this is a, if this is a year later, he's three now. If we're going to say no time passes between now and the next episode, and then we do a 10 year jump, that would put Aegon at 13. Which is old enough to be a main, uh, to be a main character. Arya is right. nine right. in the books, right? So he's main character age. He's he's John he's Jon Snow age. He's right. Jon Snow age, right? That's the age Jon Snow is basically at the beginning of Game of Thrones. That's a year crazy. Younger. So yeah, potentially after the time jump, Aegon is now of that age, and mm-hmm. he's got a sister who's a year 
two years younger than him, I guess, right? Three years. Right. What's her name? Do we know her name? We obviously don't know it from the show yet. You know her Helena. name. Helena. Helena. Yeah, so that's kind of where my head's at going forward. I'm, I'm can't wait for the next episode. Yeah, I, again, I'm not gonna stay too long because I gotta edit this before I go to bed. But I have heard a few. I think some people have seen up to six episodes. Like some people got uh, advanced screenings of up to six episodes. And from what I've heard, the first like, I heard somebody, I heard an interviewer, like a podcast or something with somebody who had <clears throat> seen them. And he had said that the second three, like four, five, six, were better than one, two, three. And like one, yeah. two, three were good. One, so, two, three were good. Three was kind of bleh, but. I think uh, I like this one. I felt like it wasn't too fast or too slow. I felt yeah. like the last episode was a little bit of both. The war felt too fast and some of the other stuff felt super the, not the hunt. slow, not slow necessarily, but like, it was dragging. It, would, if, it was dragging. It felt weird how certain things had taken two years to bubble to like how these conflicts mm-hmm. took two years to bubble to the I agree, surface. I agree completely. Um, I feel like this episode didn't have that as much of those problems. It makes sense that Damon has still been gone, was gone for yeah. a year since the last episode before he comes back. And like the stuff that's happened in this episode was kind of more like a, an event. Like one mm. thing happened and we covered it. Right. So, yeah. um, yeah, I think it makes sense. I, I paused it to pee at one point. I was like, damn, there's still 28 minutes left. And I think there's like a lot of credits in the trailer. So it was more like 20 minutes or so, but it was yeah. still, it was already 45 minutes in and it was. Still had like 20 minutes to go. Well, like when it says like an hour and two minutes, that's like, I think, actual episode time because like the full run, oh, really? like you're saying with like credits and everything, mine said 113 for like including the intro and outro, like after the show yeah. stuff. So I assume that I think that the 102 is like the actual in episode time. So yeah, these things are, are hefty. Like we've basically seen two two full movies at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think like it's good. And, and the one thing is, I think the biggest issue for me so far is time jumps. I think everything is is really awesome. Time jumps. I'm really are, curious of how. Are, go ahead, just finish your thought. Yeah, it, time jumps are a little iffy. I think I prefer small, less time jumps that are bigger. Kind of like we're about to have the big ten year one. I'd prefer mm-hmm. probably just one big ten year. Like, kind of, I think they're doing pretty good. I'm glad that, and for anyone who is kind of put off by the time jumps, I'm pretty sure that after this season. We're covering maybe two years. Yeah. Three three years. So we shouldn't have time jumps more than a few months after this season. Yeah, that'll be cool. I'm curious of how they're gonna transition from episode, from the young young versions to older versions. If they're gonna like splash their face and like out of the splash becomes like the older version, or if we just start a new episode with the new Renera. It kinda makes sense to do mid episode. I, I, yeah. I agree. I feel like it would almost be more, it would make more sense to do mid episode. The thing is they've already done it. People are making a big deal about, and I get it. Like the Allison and Rhaenyra actresses are awesome. And we're, they're going to be in one more episode, I guess, unless we get like period. Flashbacks, one more episode, like, unless we get or, flashbacks. Yeah. But like the Lena and, uh, Lenor actors have already been swapped once. They, they are in the first tourney scene as like very, very young. And then yeah. like the one where do they get swapped again? Do they, they get, get swapped? swapped? They're going to get swapped again. Exactly. Well, so I guess we, the, we haven't seen the young girl again. She was still probably a young, she, she at least gets, I know, I don't know if Lenor does cause he looked pretty grown up in the, I think he definitely got swapped from the tourney to the table. Yeah. He a hundred percent. I don't know did. if the girl, he hundred percent did. I don't know if he will again. Okay. I don't know if he will. I don't know if he will again. He looks yeah, kind of Yeah, he up. did look. He looked pretty old. They can put a beard on him. Or I think. Something the, and... I know the girl will because I've seen a trailer shot of the girl at a, like a future point that we haven't. Is she seen just a show smoke show. It's a. She's older. She doesn't look bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So I, yeah, I'm really liking it so far. Again, I'm I'm glad you're liking it because a lot a lot of times I'm watching this, I'm like. I wonder what someone who doesn't know anything about this is yeah. thinking. So I'm glad that you're like it. Again, it's got my wheels going. I don't know if it's – it's entertaining still. But to your point, it's, I don't know – I don't even know. It's so weird how to put it. Like you asked if Danielle was liking it. Like I don't know because it's not something like to really talk about because we have no clue what's coming up. You know what I mean? Like we're comp- maybe if you watch the trailers, uh, you're not as in the dark, but – I feel like a lot of the uh, conversation around the show is like about like some of the super cringe stuff, like incest and like after yeah. episode, whatever episode where Viserys and Lena were walking through the garden, like all of it was like, ooh, age yeah. gross, which right. again, I get it is gross, but we spend how long every week Like you spend at least two hours. I spend 
like three or four hours every week doing Game of Thrones, like the main series stuff. And that is just like in that happens yeah. all the time in that show. Like to your point, Lancel Lannister gets married, gets patrolled to a two year old, right? right? Or not Lancel, uh, Tyrek Lannister gets right. They call him the wet nurse because he's literally patrolled <laughs> to yeah. like a two year old for lands and stuff. Like, so again, it's not, I'm not saying that's right, but like I get it that they do this right. stuff. Well, it- I'm I'm with you. Like the incest, Danielle called the incest. She was like, "Oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna get together." And I was like, "Nah, no, they're not. I don't think so." And then they obviously did. And I was like, "Damn!" But we knew we know Targaryens have done this. So like, it doesn't. Even though like, it's gross, I'm not shocked by it. Like they. How did you they feel like, in that scene? Right? Because like I like, like kind of like I'm saying I am. I spend as I feel like I spend as much time in Westeros as I do in the real world. So like <laughs> the Targaryen incest thing, I should be as okay with as anyone. And even me, like seeing that scene, I'm like, oh, this is so weird. But also, there's multiple levels of weird. There's the age gap, there's the grooming, and there's the the incest. Yeah, I was really hoping that it was a dream. I even said it like I was like, oh, this is a dream. <laughs> I was like, it's a dream. She she's not actually doing this. Like, but this why is- do you know for, because of the incest, because of the age gap, or because of the grooming? Like, what is the uh, why were you like? I don't. Want, I guess what in your be, gut was like this. I don't want this to be real. The incest, I guess, would be the part of it. The biggest, it's yeah. just still, it's still just kind of a weird. It doesn't look like a. I mean, she does look a lot younger than him, but I don't know what the age gap is between. And I, the grooming didn't cross my mind at all. Um, but then again, I also had this prediction that those two were going to team up. So I was like, oh, well, maybe they actually like each other like that. And they're just going to – they're just doing it. And they say, fuck fuck everybody else. We're just taking over with our dragons and me and him. But yeah, uh, so who knows? All right. Yeah. All right. I think it's an awesome one. I don't have too much to talk about for spoiler yeah. stuff. But yeah, I'll you can you get go. out of here so I can finish up and get to bed tonight. Bye. See you, sir. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. All right, now that he's gone. So for the sex stuff, I was kind of skirting around some of it with Jeff there. Like there's two events that kind of happen in the in the books. One, Damon comes back like he did. He teaches her sex seemingly so she can seduce Christian Cole. But then also so then Damon gets kicked out like and he's like, no one will take her except for me. Then he gets kicked out. Then he says, "Okay, now you have to make, name you have to marry Lenor." And I think at that point, she says, "That's when we get the stuff where she goes to Christian Cole and says, Fuck me, uh, so that Lenor won't take Lenor won't take me.' And, or he comes to her. Looks like she goes to him. I'm hoping that later he goes to her at, at some point too, which is kind of why I was beating around the bush with some of the stuff with Jeff. I think later he might come to her at some point as well. I again, I like how they left it ambiguous. I don't like how they left it ambiguous. I wanted an answer for some of the stuff for the show. We're not getting it." The one uh, little thing is I like how when Alicent was with Rhaenyra, she says, I used to be Lady Alicent. Now I'm the queen. Again, I think this is a callback to the book, The Princess and the Queen, where Rhaenyra is the princess, Alicent is the queen, and they start calling the queen's party and the party of the princess before the blacks and greens. I thought we were going to get the blacks and greens tournament this episode because I think that's a tournament where Damon comes in with his crown. Again, I knew Damon didn't come with his crown to a tournament because of the trailer. But I was assuming that there was still going to be a blacks and green tournament. We also haven't had the blacks and greens like they haven't worn the blacks and green dress yet. That might be like once they're aged up. But I thought that was going to happen here. So I think the only other main thing I had to talk about that I and I'm sure there's some stuff I could have I should have written down for spoilers. But I think the last thing is I feel like Jace is going to end up being Christian Cole's son because I don't think Rhaenyra is going to take that moon tea because like we said, moon tea fucks up your shit, fucks up your your pregnancy stuff and we know she has three healthy children later on so i don't think she takes it which means maybe this first child is maybe she actually gets pregnant and had and gives birth to jace for christian cole and then the other two are harwin strongs they might all just be harwin strongs i also don't hate the idea that they're lanors right there's an idea in the book that like lanor when he was doing gay stuff would sometimes bring her nearer in and i'm like marjorie suggests to renly in the in the show like we could bring my brother in and you could just <laughs> finish in me when it's time. I wouldn't hate if Rhaenyra, if that happened with Rhaenyra and Lanor and they were actually some Valyrian kids. I wouldn't hate that because Valyrians are kind of cool. Um, I doubt it though. So we'll see what happens. I, I guess from this one, I think Jace 
might end up being Christian Coles because I don't think Rhaenyra is going to drink the stuff. That's all I got, but we'll see you guys in the next one for episode five. Thanks for listening. Bye.